Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our Sunday morning Abednesa service that will be starting momentarily. Uh, thank you to Susan and Maria for seeing the responses uh, for the Abednesa this morning, and uh, glad you're with us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our holy house, and for those desiring to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan teak, our welcome tenants of the diocese of New England, for the honorable priests and the diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord Memory, King, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theophagos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto you our dwelling, Lord, we honor and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of each Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, blessed are you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember, aiding our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For yours is the majesty, and yours are the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes, in 
sons of men in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to his earth. On that very day his plans perish. Happy is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Only begotten Son and immortal Word of God. Who for our salvation were to be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change became man and were crucified, who Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who are one of the holy trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Out the save us have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by your grace. I'm emerating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For you are a good God who love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Wisdom, let us attend. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ.
angel the joyous message of your resurrection. They cast away the ancestral curse and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. The image of God was truly preserved in you, O Father, for you took up the cross and followed Christ. By so doing, you taught us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away. But you care instead for the soul, since it is immortal. Therefore your spirit, O Holy Father, Michael, rejoices with the angels. Your holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, O Lord, through their sufferings have received incorruptible crowns from you, our God. For having your strength, they laid low their adversaries shattered the powerless boldness of demons through their intercession save our souls my savior and redeemer as god rose from the tomb and delivered the earth born from their chains he has shattered the gates of hell and as risen on the third day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Like the morning star, your glorious sufferings enlighten us with holy miracles. We celebrate your memory, O Proclus and Hilary. Pray to Christ our God for us, that he will save our souls now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By your deeds you withered the arrogance of the flesh. Through enlightenment you gave wings to your agility of spirit. You were revealed as the dwelling place of the Trinity, whom you now clearly behold. Blessed Michael and ceasingly pray for us all. For holy are you, O our God, and not you. He strike glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us attend in peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Wisdom. The perfume and on in the fourth tone. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord, my God, you are very great. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made. 
wisdom. A reading from the Epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israelites is that they may be saved. For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. Since they did not know the righteousness that comes from God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Moses describes in this way the righteousness that is by the law. The man who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that is by faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the deep, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, it is in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith we are proclaiming, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Peace be unto your reader. And to your spirit, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Go forth and prosper and reign because of truth and meekness and righteousness. Alleluia. Righteousness and hate iniquity. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who loves mankind with the pure light of your divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of your gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of your blessed commandments that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as the well pleasing unto you. For you are the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God. And unto you we ascribe glory, together with your Father, who is from everlasting, your all holy, good, and light creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time when Jesus came to the country of the Gergesenes, two demoniacs met him coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many swine was feeding at some distance from them, and the demons begged him, if you cast us out, send us away into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the swine. And behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the waters. The herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything and what had happened to the demoniacs. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. And getting into a boat, he crossed over and came to his own city. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever.
This morning, brothers and sisters, we hear both a significant epistle reading and a gospel reading that probably is one of the most familiar to us simply because we hear it several times during the course of the year. And so we want to begin with today's epistle reading and connect to today's gospel reading and dimensions of it through the lens of today's epistle reading. And St. Paul is speaking of the Hebrew people, remembering that St. Paul was himself a Hebrew. He excelled among the Israel nation in terms of knowledge and understanding of the Jewish faith at that time. He was among the leaders of the Jewish community when he had his vision on the road to Damascus, was struck blind, and was asked by Jesus, why do you persecute me? And so in the epistle to the Romans, he's speaking now of his former community, the Israelites. He says, I bear them witness uh, brother, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. I bear them witness that they have zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. And he goes on to say of the Israelites that they sought after their own righteousness rather than the righteousness of God. And so he wishes them all the best. He wishes them salvation, but he also reflects in their life a missed opportunity. We as Christians would say today that the missed opportunity was simply to recognize God in their midst when Jesus came to be among them, that they, they couldn't see God's presence in their midst in the midst of their own search for their own righteousness in the law of Moses, which he goes on to speak about, that the law of Moses uh, was righteousness of the law, and that when Jesus comes, he ends that journey of righteousness by the law because he brings salvation personally as son of God. And so he doesn't negate that law of righteousness, but it is fulfilled. It is completed. It is made full. And so, brothers and sisters, we, you and I, are challenged today to live the righteousness of God, to be embraced by it. And this is what he goes on to say in today's epistle reading. He speaks about believing in our heart and confessing with our mouth. These are the words that he uses. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe him in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So we hear in this brief word, belief from our heart, confessing with our mouth, and belief in God the Father who raises the Son in the Holy Spirit, the reference to the Holy Trinity. And he goes on to say, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And if we even go on a couple of verses beyond our epistle reading today, we hear again that there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him, for whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And so, brothers and sisters, we today need to be reminded that we have all received the gift of the Holy Spirit in baptism. We have died to the old person, have been raised in the new. You and I fervently wait to return to our church to be able to again celebrate the Holy Eucharist, that ascension from the here and now into the kingdom of heaven to receive the precious and holy body and blood of Christ. And then with that experience to go out into the world, believing in our heart and confessing with our mouth. So let us turn to the gospel reading for today to focus on one figure. Well, it's two in Matthew's gospel, that whether there's one or more demoniacs uh, that are in the uh, gospel uh, narrative. Uh, but the focus on that person who had been day after day 
living the life possessed by demons. So not his own life, not what he would want to achieve in his life, not any control over what happens in his life. And Jesus heals him through the demons departing from the demoniac and entering into the herd of swine. So could you imagine when the community comes out and they see what happened and all they see is their livelihood having been taken from them, they ask Jesus to leave. Well, in another version of this particular reading, the demoniac asks to go with Jesus after he has been healed. And Jesus says to him instead, you go and bear witness. Could you imagine bearing witness to Christ, the one who destroyed their livelihood in healing him among the people that sent Jesus forth from their community. They could not receive the righteousness of Christ in his salvation. And so, brothers and sisters, you and I, in our culture today, that is rapidly departing from an orientation to faith of any kind, we are finding ourselves in this place. We are finding ourselves with this question being raised before us. Do I believe enough in my heart, and am I willing to confess with my mouth my belief in Jesus Christ and his salvation that he has wrought for me, for you, for all of us. We are called maybe even more today to bear witness to our Lord who comes to bring this salvation himself to us in opening the kingdom of heaven for us to be with him, God willing, in eternity. So brothers and sisters, as we are reflecting on these words today, let us be mindful of the example of the Israelites who sought their own righteousness instead of God's righteousness. Let us be mindful of the man, the demoniac in today's gospel, bearing witness to a people that even the sight of him would make them angry. And may we be inspired to enkindle in our hearts, even while we are separated from the Holy Eucharist, our belief in Jesus Christ, and be prepared to confess our faith in our Lord with those seeking for greater and fuller life and the gift of the spiritual life around us as our world continues to struggle through this time of the pandemic, through the time of racial tensions, that we may be able to give voice to the gospel of peace, the gospel of righteousness, the gospel of love. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Forever. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Teak on Law, Companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox part of this life before us, especially Matushka, Nadine, Peggy, Ina, Oleg, Yelena, John, Greg, and Charles, and to hear and in all the world by a sleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, 
all those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, or those who are sick and suffering, especially our former Metropolitan Theodosius, the priest James, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, Macrina, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, John, and Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Vera, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Christopher, Carol, Dorothy, Anne Marie, Nancy, Stephanie, Marilyn, Julia, Maria, Victor, Oleg, Bettina, Nicholas, Delphina, Nihilus, for those who are suffering from the coronavirus, even Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcady, and Natalie, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, our true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and loves mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Lord, let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O oh Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them, the military reserves supporting them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on you ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on you ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels, archangels, with all the powers of heaven, sing your praises and do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father of maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light and light, true God and true. with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was born. And the third day he rose again 
according to the scriptures, and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Forgive our sins, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether by words or deeds, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by day or night, whether in mind or thought. Forgive us all these, for you are good and love mankind. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. All Holy Trinity, Mighty One in Essence, Kingdom Undivided, Origin of all good things, be graciously inclined also to us sinners, establish us, give understanding to our hearts, and purge away all our vileness, enlighten our minds that we may glorify, sing praises, and adore you, and say. I will bless the Lord in all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and covets many days that he may enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. 
The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He kept all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. It is truly me to bless you. Christ our God and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and then to ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of the martyrs Proclus and Hilary of Ansira, and the Venerable Michael of Malinus, we commemorate today of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. We thank Susan and Maria for singing the beautiful responses this morning, and Heidi and her family for singing the responses for Vespers last evening. Uh, before we finish this morning, we'd like to both remember the departed in our community that have been shared and also the uh, those who are celebrating special days today. So among the departed, uh, Charles, Judy's uncle, uh, is coming up on one year anniversary of his repose. So we remember him and also my father, Anthony, uh, reposed uh, anniversary of his repose uh, during this past week. Among those celebrating special days, we have a number of uh, celebrants. Uh, Susan and Zenyas are celebrating their 22nd wedding anniversary today. Uh, Deacon Mark and Matushka Claire Nadine celebrated their 10th wedding anniversary yesterday. And so we'll be remembering their anniversaries together with a couple of uh, faithful in the broader community that have been regular participants in our services. Uh, Nancy Dudchik from the Three Saints Parish celebrated her birthday yesterday and reader John Scrobat from uh, St. Alexis in Clinton also is celebrating his birthday. So let us take a moment to 
pray for our departed community members and to celebrate with those who are celebrating birthdays and anniversaries today. Grant rest eternal and blessed repose, O Lord, to the souls of the servants of God, the Martish Canadian, Peggy, Nina, Oleg, Yelena, John, and Greg, for the servants of God, Charles and Anthony, on the anniversaries of their repose, and make their memory to be eternal. peaceful and prosperous life, health, salvation, furtherance, and all good things, and all thy blessings unto the servant of God, his beatitude, our most blessed Teacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, for the Archpriest John, our Chancellor, for the Archpriest John, our Dean, for the servants of God, Zenius and Susan, on the 22nd anniversary of their marriage, for Deacon Mark and Makish Kukler Nadine, on the 10th anniversary of their marriage, for the servants of God celebrating their birthdays, the reader John and Nancy, and protect and preserve them for many years. God grant you many years, God grant you many years, God grant you many, 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 many years. So once again, we thank everyone who has joined us for our abundance of service this morning for our Holy Transfiguration community. Uh, our coffee hour will begin just in a few minutes. Those who are connected by Zoom, just stay uh, connected and we'll be uh, coming together in just a little while uh, for our coffee hour. God bless and keep you and our schedule of services will continue with uh, Vespers on Monday evening. Uh, and I believe it'll be more of a greater Vespers on Tuesday evening for the Feast of St. Vladimir coming up this week. God bless and be with you.